Thank you so much to Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video.
So if you've never heard of Sakura Co, they are a Japanese subscription service that sends you a freshly curated snack box every month. All their boxes include a very pretty little postcard illustration. It also always comes with a cultural guide booklet that tells you everything you need to know about the snacks inside, as well as the Japanese history, where everything comes from, how these were made, etc. etc. All their boxes include 20 authentic and traditional Japanese snacks like tea, cakes, biscuits, seasonal treats, exclusive treats, and even home goods, which is my personal favorite. Every month, their box follows a theme, and for the month of June this year, we have the taste of Hokkaido. According to their little booklet, June is one of the most auspicious times for big life events in Japan, so they decided to add in some secret snacks to embrace the mystery this month. Um, as for me, I got a bunch of extra jellies, which is always, always welcome. If you're interested in getting your own Sakura Co. box, you can use my code NAISU to get $5 off your first order. <laughs> I 
feel like I should give some context on what I'm doing in the video because this is a voiceover. Basically, I'm here trying to clean off this mold from my watercolors. I have no idea how they like ended up there. That has never happened before and I know that it looks kind of gross but we're gonna keep it real here. I read somewhere that it could be like the humidity. You know when you close a palette before it completely dries, I guess that's what happens. I don't know, I guess for some context, I put some of um, my favorite watercolor paints in this empty pan. I've never done that before. I always used like this really big Magello paint palette. That palette was just like too big to carry around, so I wanted to find something a little smaller. But then this happened, which is awful because I never even got to use it yet and now I have molds and I'm taking molds out of paint. I never thought this would happen. You know, you learn something new every day. It's so interesting. Um, if my energy right now is kind of weird, that's because I have no idea what I feel. Last week, I voted for the first time and let's just say that it didn't like go the way I expected it to and for the rest of the week everyone around me was just just a mess everything felt very chaotic but you know I'm I'm I feel a lot better now I'm on my big girl chair I'm editing videos I'm doing homework and you know what we're gonna keep going because I'm a strong independent woman who never gives up <laughs> you know yeah okay so <laughs> On to our regular program. I have been reading, but those spicy books they keep recommending on TikTok. I've been reading those just to like help take my mind off things. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get through the day. <laughs> As for film, turning red. And this just completely wrecked me. It's so nice, but then, you know, it just really hits you right in the face because I'm Asian and my mom's side of the family is Chinese. You know, like I could relate. I watched it with my brother and he cried along with me. Like whenever I started to cry, he would cry. He doesn't cry, okay? I feel like that just says a lot about the movie. It really like hit home for us. After we finished the movie, I called my mom. Actually, I didn't even wait till the movie was done. I remember calling her midway because I just couldn't keep going until I told my mom that I loved her. <laughs> Here's the thing, she's so used to that because I'm a very like emotional person, especially when it comes to family. So she's not surprised that I'm like calling her because of a movie, but you know, Doctor Strange, the second movie, and it was trippy. I'm actually reading a bunch of comics at the moment, but I don't like talking about things that I'm currently watching and reading until I finish them, so I'm gonna Gonna save those for next time. One short webcomic I finished was Ghost was an unpolished gemstone and this has like three chapters. It's super short. True Beauty, if you've never heard of it. I've been following this series for the longest time. Really liked it in the beginning, but then eventually it kind of felt like we were going in circles with the story. So I'm just gonna release myself from this confusion and move on, you know? Anime, I actually have a few that I can talk to you about. So first is Meiroko-chan. This is about a girl who can see ghosts and she has this like very negative pull to her, but she's a good person. So I've never really watched a horror anime. I felt like this was a really nice introduction. Next, I watched My Dress Up Darling. It was cute. I gave it a 7. Next, I watched Komi Can't Communicate. And this one was actually super, super cute. Um, it felt like one of those very wholesome slice of life school anime. <laughs> That's basically what it is. They're coming out with a second season, so I'm super excited about that. I watched Gekkan Shoujo no Zaki-kun. This is one of the anime series I watched around the time I started watching Haikyuu, which was probably 
like 2015, 2016, and I decided to watch it again because, as I mentioned earlier, I was super, super stressed、um, last week. This really helped alleviate some of that. It's about this girl who is like a really big fan of this、uh, manga author, and turns out he is her crush in school. So she ends up working with him, and throughout the whole series,、um, we get to meet other characters who added a lot of joy to the story, which is really nice. Lastly, I watched Kokoro Connect, kind of supernatural, kind of slice of life, kind of romance. And、there is a love triangle in here, and let's just say that my girl didn't win, unfortunately. But it was still cute. There was still like friendship involved, and like discovering oneself and all that. So, I guess it was all right. But yeah, I feel like that's all I needed to say. Please let me know what you've been reading, what you've been watching. How are you doing? What life has been like for you the past month? I guess. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hehehe <laughs>